I was born in Brooklyn, but uh, moved out to Long Island when I was five years old. I always remember music being a constant soundtrack and growing up with this sound system, it was, it was like I'd come into the basement and you just enter this sea of sound. I remember just it getting explained to me what these things do and how they transform electricity into sound. So I think it was only natural that after that fact, when you start playing music yourself, you, you have these names in your mind as far as what's gonna give you the sound you wanna hear. That's one thing that I got from being exposed to music at such a young age, the importance of fidelity. First time I saw an electric guitar up close, I just knew it was, it was just love at first sight. I did not think that my parents would get one because they really wanted me to be a classical player. And so when they came home on my birthday with a guitar, I just ran all over the house. And when I was first able to just play that one chord, that one D chord, that's when the lightning struck. When I moved into Manhattan from Long Island, I was teaching preschool during the day and at night. I was trying to play in as many different bands as possible and I was trying to get paid. <laughs> I went for an audition. When their guitar player left to go and join the band Incubus. The first gig that I did with The Roots was in Japan, and I, the first time I met the band was at the airport on the way to Japan. So I remember playing in front of 5,000 people and just being completely blown away and overwhelmed by the electricity in the room. And I remember feeling that and thinking, I cannot go back to teaching preschool after this. One of the things I love about the Fallon Show being at 30 Rock is the fact that it takes me a half hour to get to work. When I'm on the subway, I'm listening to the music that has to be performed that day. It's important that the sound is incredibly clear on that because you're really listening intensely to your part. When we finally get a chance to do some weekend touring with The Roots, that's really a chance for me to go off into my own world and I, there's no better feeling than sitting in your airplane seat and shutting out the world around you with a good pair of headphones. When you're out on a stage in front of thousands of people, you can just take risks and you can really feel the rewards from that and the immediate response from the audience, it's, it's right there in front of you. I express myself best through music. So it's really given me a platform to show people who I am. I'm just so grateful that it's still such a huge part of my life. <laughs>